Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery Veggie. My name's Gina and today I have a Maurice's haul. Y'all know how I love Maurice's. It's a clothing boutique. Um, I don't know that they're if they're local to this area. I know you can order online. That's normally what I do. Now keep in mind, if you do order online and you want to return something, you will have to pay a little bit of a return shipping fee. I think it's probably like six dollars. I normally just go to my local store to return them and that way I can return everything free of charge for me. And it's shipped to you free. I have a love for this store. I don't know. My sister introduced me years and years ago to this store. They bought me a pair of jeans from Maurice's for I think it was my birthday or something and I've loved it ever since. So yeah I spent a lot of money there and if you want to try it, I do have a affiliate link down below. Affiliate links do give me a percentage of what you buy at no extra cost to you. You just go through the link and shop like normal and it, it's kind of like a salesperson commission is what it is. So it's not a lot, but it, anything does help. So I appreciate that if you go through my link, if you decide you want to shop at Morris's. I just, I don't know, I did a haul. I like it, I do hauls. And the first thing that I see are shoes. Y'all, what do y'all think of this color lipstick on me? I'm not sure about it. It is pretty bright. It's not what I'm used to. It's actually a sample Chanel uh, Rogue Cocoa Bloom in the color 140 Alive. So I just wanted to know what y'all think of that color. If it looks good on me, if it's too bright, let me know because I really don't know. I can't decide. Now I'm gonna open the shoes. I was just looking, that's what I'm looking at when I look in the video is the color of my lips because it's something I'm not used to. So, the band. We're gonna open the shoes. I cannot remember what I ordered. You know how I am. I order stuff and then I completely forget about it. So this is more of an unboxing than just a haul to me. I even tried to go online and look it up. I like to pull it up on my computer so that I can tell you about the clothes and how much it costs. And you know, a lot of times when I do get stuff from Maurice's, I get it through sales. Sometimes I'll have a buy one, get one half off or, you know, an all t-shirts or $12, you know, just different things like that. And they always have a deal of the day. If you go on their website, you go down to the bottom and it'll say today's deals. You click on that, it'll tell you what's on sale. Sometimes they'll do like capris and sandals and sometimes they'll do t-shirts and cardigans. I mean, it's just whatever they wanna do, I guess. So click on that, see what the deals are for today. These are Felicity Platform Elastic Closure in Coral. $34.90, I get a size seven and a half. That is my regular size. Y'all, I saw these and I just thought they were darling. I don't know why I have been liking coral stuff and everything lately. Now this, what did I say? It was says elastic clothes. Okay, that's this. I don't know, I was, I was kind of expecting to be suede. It is more of a leather. I like the platform. They do have, oh, did you hear, hear my finger pop? Oh my goodness. Um, they do have a pretty cushiony uh, sole. And then you've got the cork, which I love that cork look. I love it, especially in the summer. I just think it is cute. Give your feet a little pop of color. It would be cute if you had your toes done to match. Cause yeah, would I really do that? No. I actually think it would match my top. All right, yeah, it kind of matches my top. And considering I didn't put on any shoes today, cause yes, country girl, then I always wear shoes. Cause I haven't left the house yet. I went out yesterday, I went to my friend Peggy's. Like we've been doing on every Tuesday. And so today I'm tired <laughs> and I'm a little sore. You know, le Ooh, sorry, leaning over that sewing machine, going all day, it, it, it kind of works you know, it tires your shoulders out and that's kind of what I'm feeling today. All right, let me look. Y'all, her paper was kind of having a rough day. 
don't even know. I don't know if this is my entire order or not since it wouldn't pull up on the website. I just, I have no idea. So I'm just going to show you what I've gotten so far and tell you what the prices say on here. And yeah, we're just going to have some fun because I didn't realize all this stuff was going on. I've actually been trying for two days to, to get that order to pull up and it hasn't worked. Maybe it's three because I probably started Monday. Then yesterday I was busy and then today's Wednesday. Wednesday the 20, Wednesday, June 23rd. That is the day's date. Yeah, I like to tell y'all because I know I don't get these out the same day and sometimes I don't even get them out close. So I like you to know kind of when I got the stuff. The Coral Felicity platforms I got for 28 56 so what did it say they normally were 30 34.90 so i did get a bit of a discount on that all right let's go to the next item what do you say 24.90 been looking for some tank tops that have just a little bit of detail here so that you know if i needed to pop them out of the top of a, a wrap dress or something just that cute little detail. I hope that's transferring in the camera. Get the tag out of the way. I'm having a day, y'all. My little clicker remote thing is not working and it's just, it's a day. But yeah, isn't that cute? I think that's adorable with the three little buttons and the little bit of um, lace. Well, not lace. Um, yeah, can't think of the word soft cotton white tank top this is a 24 7 and extra large all right this is the soft white 24 7 eyelet insert eyelet that's what i was trying to say eyelet insert button tank top 24 dollars and 90 cents i'm gonna move this sample i'm i'm paranoid i'm gonna get lipstick on the clothes <laughs> all right another 24 7 tank tops this time of year i cannot get enough tank tops y'all because a lot of times, even a sleeve like this, by the way, this is another one of their 24-7 tees. And you can also get this pattern in a dress. Really cute. Thought about doing it. But since I already had a pattern in, the, in just the, you know, regular t-shirt, I didn't do it. Anyway, can't get enough of these because it's hot here. And a lot of times I just want to run around in a tank top. And look at this bandana type pattern. I just thought it was super cute. I mean, I can transfer this into a, you know, fall with putting the right top over it. So I just thought it was really cute and really sensible. Very pretty. Um, this also is a 24-7 extra large red bandana classic tank top, $16.29. This is, this is like that soft outdoor, not outdoor, but you know, you feel like you want to wear it at the beach because it feels like it's nice and thin and cool. And I look at it blowing in my fan. <laughs> yeah, I get hot and I turn my fan on. I'm sorry. I like the stripe. I like the color. Of course, it's a V-neck. Um, it is, the buttons actually are real. I was trying to, to make sure. Of course, extra large. Pink striped button front blouse, multi-combo, extra large, $26.90. Which actually is what is on the tag, so I probably didn't get any discount on this top. But, I don't know, it just looks so nice and cozy and comfy. I don't, I'm not worried about how that's, well maybe that's from the tag. We'll have to check and see how that hangs once we try it on. Alright, this, I think they had this on their 4th of July page which you know is still coming up i do have a fourth of july t-shirt i'm gonna wear but sometimes you know if you're gonna do a weekend for fourth of july you might want to have something a little festive for two days or you know you could wear this anytime it just you know it's got the red white and blue in it so it would go either way and it's got some cute detail this is more of that see-through I want to say crochet, but it's not crochet. Uh, uh, no, it's not the eyelet. All right, it says Americana Henley tank top, twenty nine ninety. Of course, extra large, which is what I normally get everything in, unless I know it runs small. Speed in the back as well. 
Very cute. Very excited about that one. Can't you tell? I'm running out just beaming with energy today. All right, what in the world? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know what I was looking at. I saw this and I was like, did I get some undies? <laughs> All right, so this is cute. It's got more of that squared top that I've been kind of thinking to give a try. Um, elastic on both sides. I don't know. I'm curious about it. This is also in the 24-7 material. This feels like it has a little more stretch. And it's not quite as soft as this one is. It feels almost almost like a thicker exercise type material. Uh, let's see what you say. This is Color Olive Illusion Extra Large 24-7 Solid Short Capped Sleeve Tee. $15.64. So here I got another tank that has a cute little detail up top. I like this crisscross look. I mean, when you're a girl like me and you got some cleavage there, sometimes it's nice to have something like this over it. Um, maybe like, it, it brings attention, but also gives you a little coverage, you know, that way you don't want to flaunt it, but you can enhance it, I guess is the proper way of putting it. I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, adjustable, strappy, tank top, cami, camisole, cute little blush pink, they actually call it Dusty Rose, extra large, solid, strappy neck, cami, $9.98, and this is the last piece, and here is another one I was going for something to wear under stuff, and Wow, is it crinkly? Is it wrinkly or crinkly? I don't even know. But cute lace detail up top, cute lace detail down below. So you can know, you put something over the top of it, you stick it out the edge. It's very cute. Um, off white, extra large, solid lace crinkle cami. I guess it is crinkle. Eleven seventy one is what I paid for it. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna try all this stuff on. I will see you back in a minute. I miss my remote. All right, so this is my outfit for today. I've got a Maurice's 24-7 tee on and some Maurice's shorts on. Um, this is a Melinda Marie necklace I got out of the Curator box. And these earrings were from Mint Mongoose. So now let's try this stuff on. All right, so this is cute. I think it would be cute under stuff or if I wanted to wear a jacket over the top of it, it would be cute. So yeah, I think this one works pretty well. I would have to wear something over the top of it though because it is showing my bra quite a bit. But I was just thinking, I tried this one on as an update from a um, an Amazon personal shopper and I had gotten a bigger size and I was looking for something to put underneath it that was cute and I thought that would be cute with a little bit of lace and then I could actually wear the wrap dress because this button just wouldn't work for me. Anyway, if you want to see that one, I'll put a card up, up above if I posted it already, because uh, sometimes I don't always post these in order. You know how it is. I'm going to try the next one on now, because I feel like I'm in my underclothes. <laughs> All right, I don't love this one as much as I thought I would. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is just a little too much for me, and it, it just, I don't know. It's a little tight here, and it's bunchy here. I mean, I could probably tuck it in and make it look better. Eh, I'm probably just going to send this one back. It's long, but it's too tight for long, I think. Y'all, don't forget to let me know what you think below. Comment, tell me what you think looks good, what you don't think looks good. Like the video, please. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends and press that notification bell. I'll be right back with the next top. All right, so I expected this one to fit more up here. Well, actually, maybe it does if I pull it up. 
It's not too bad if it would stay right there, but I'm worried that it would slip down. And I don't know that I love the bulkiness of it, but if I could get it to stay up. Oh, y'all, my earrings just went flying. I didn't put backs on them today. It's pretty tight around my belly. I got some serious poking out going here. You suck it in. Ugh. Yeah, because I'm gonna walk around like this all the time. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, it's, I think it's just a little too tight for me. And with this being unsure if it would stay, and this actually kind of bulks a little bit, so I'm just gonna send this one back. But it gives you a look at it in case you wanna try it. All right, so part of me thinks this is absolutely adorable, super cute. And the part of me thinks that it just accents this a little too much. I need to know what y'all think what y'all think about this one. I love the loose flowiness of it. It just, it screams that it's gonna be cool. All right, it, it's cute. I like it. I don't know, I probably will keep it. I think it's adorable and it would be great for the 4th of July. What do y'all think? Man, it really shows off the G's though. <laughs> All right, we'll go on to the next one and I'll put those shoes on with it. All right, this is also cute and just flowy and roomy. You know, could just wear it around and not worry about getting hot and sticky. <laughs> is this hot and sticky around here, y'all? It really is. Y'all, my pants are falling down so bad. I should have ordered some smaller <laughs> Gee, uh, shorts. I, just, I don't know why I'm losing I hope I don't have a tapeworm or something. <laughs> Actually, I probably wouldn't tuck it in. I probably just would leave it like this and run around. Very cute. Now the buttons are the, the kinds that have the little loop. These are not easy to undo. So I probably would never undo them, but it can me done. Just thought I'd tell ya. Because sometimes I will untie these shirts and give them a tie to give me a little more, you know, of a figure. <laughs> All right. How many more do I have? I've got two more and then I'll try the shoes on. Oh yeah. Cute. I like it. Uh, at first I was afraid it was going to be kind of bunchy, but I like it. I think it's adorable. I love the bandana look. So cute. All right. Last one is white and then I'll put the shoes on too. So. I'm not as sure as about this one. It, it seems to be doing this number. Um, but if I was wearing something over the top of it, I don't think that would matter. Let me just do this again. Simply because it's here and easy. Oh, which way is up? <laughs> y'all I could get away with wearing this thing <laughs> just like this <laughs> except for the straps I'd have to do something with them I don't know <laughs> y'all all right back to business see that would be cute and that's what I had in mind when I was picking these out so I may keep it just for that look and even if I wore you know a kimono or a cardio over it or something like that I think it would be just fine so yeah I might keep that one too it does have the V in the back if you are wondering my kids are asleep one is on the kitchen table I have a blanket that I leave there for them to sleep on right by the window and then that's Bonnie and Callie is in the front room, which is technically supposed to be the living room, but right now it's just collecting a bunch of junk. Well, anyway, I have a chair in there and I have a big floofy dog bed laying on top of the chair and she is like sprawled out in heaven on that big floofy bed. And you know, we never know where Meow is. He's probably under the bed or uh, under a chair or something. He likes to hide during the day. 
very nocturnal kitty. All right, let me turn you down so you can see them. So here they are. They are moving around a little bit on my feet. So I'm not sure. I thought I could tighten these a little more, but I mean, I could, but it might look a little funny. <laughs> it's sticking out. So that's why I just left them where they were. I just don't know if that would bug me, them moving around. Y'all, yeah, when I step on them, I can hear air coming out of the cushioning. So they'd be comfortable. I don't know, maybe I should go a size down. Let me know what you think. I, I do think they're cute. Just don't know about the fit. All right, we will do a review. I will see you in a second. We are back with my Maurice's haul. Really wish I had gotten some shorts. I may go back on today and see if I, when they're gonna do shorts for sale. But right now we're gonna look at this stuff. I am kind of thinking about keeping this. I'm not 100% sure simply because when I, I don't know if it would wear right if I didn't want to wear anything over the top of it. And y'all, sometimes I get hot and want to take that top layer off even when I do layer it. So it just really depends. I'm going to watch it back and see. And of course, I always want y'all's opinions. Tell me what you think I should keep and should not keep. And yeah, I have been known to, if I've taken something back already, to go and buy it again when y'all say that you think it looks good on me. So please let me know. I really appreciate that. While you're down there commenting, I would love it if you press the like button. Please give me some thumbs up. It really helps the channel when you like and subscribe and share. So please subscribe, please share with your friends. You can click that share button. You can grab my link to that video or you can just um, send it to, you know, email or on your social media or text it to somebody you think you might like it. I really would appreciate that word of mouth, whatever. I love it so much. And y'all, I love it when I, when I meet y'all. That just thrilled me to death when I met Carol, who is, watches the channel and found out that she goes to church with me now. So really excited about that. I really appreciate it. I love it when she comes up to me church. So cute. I love it. It's, it's exciting to be recognized because I'd never thought this would go this far. And that's all because of y'all. And thank you. Moving along. I rambled enough. Um, I do like this bandana shirt. I thought it was adorable. So I am definitely going to keep it. Thinking about keeping this, not 100% sure because I am afraid it would wrinkle. And I could probably throw it in the dryer when it's still a little damp. And, oh, it's line dry. So, I don't know. I may send that back simply because... I don't mind line drying, but I'm afraid that this would just show wrinkle. What do you think? Um, did it say to iron it? Warm iron if needed. I don't know. I may just, I may just send it back because it's, I just don't want to iron. Y'all don't even know where my iron is. I'm sure there's one in this house somewhere. I just don't know where. <laughs> I know I got one of those hang steamy things up in the attic. Then we have to dig it out. <laughs> All right, this one also thought was cute. I am gonna keep this. Probably will wear it for a 4th of July video because I think it's cute. I've got two 4th of July shirts now. This one I am gonna send back. I just wasn't sure about where these were gonna set. And it is a little thicker material than I was really wanting to get for this time of year here. So that's gonna go back. I'm also gonna send this pink one back because it just it wasn't digging the straps I don't know I, I guess I had it pictured in my mind a little different and they were a little more loose and baggy around and I was kind of thinking they'd be tight on my chest I don't know this one I am gonna keep I did like it um, I like the crinkle I like that if I wanted to wear a regular t-shirt over the top of it this little lace could stick out I think that's a cute look um, it's line, line dry but it is crinkle you know it's supposed to be crinkled so that doesn't bother me. The shoes, I'm probably gonna take back. I may ask them if they have them in store 
if they have them in store, I may try them in a smaller size to see if I can get a little tighter fit. I don't know, maybe I should try ordering a narrow shoe and see if that makes a difference for you know sandals and wedges and things because everything kind of feels like it's just moving around on my feet so that may be something I need to try and let me know what you think about that as well so that was my haul I really hope y'all enjoyed this I really appreciate y'all watching uh, sorry that the kitties weren't around today I don't know why they didn't show I guess they were just too lazy <laughs> they just wanted to sleep all day the, they'll probably come around after I stop filming and want to be in my lap and bug me to death. <laughs> so, that's normally how it goes. Cats do not do on demand. I don't know how anybody in the movies gets those cats to perform because my cats, they just do what they want. I don't know. Anyway, so y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.